Today we're going to do a study of a photo titled Ashcroft Boys 172nd RMR Vernon BC. The 172nd Rocky Mountain Rangers Battalion CEF was a unit in the Canadian Expeditionary Force during the First World War. Based in Kamloops, the unit began recruiting during the winter of 1915-16 in Kamloops and District. The motto of the Rocky Mountain Rangers was Kloche Nanich, a word from the Chinook Gargan meaning stand guard or watch well. The majority of the men in the photo were born in Ashcroft and area and they would have known each other since boyhood. Many of them were connected by blood or marriage. Their training took place in Vernon, BC where this photo was taken. On October 25, 1916, they embarked from Canada aboard the SS Mauritania and arrived in England October 31st. After a few months in England, they proceeded to France. In part one, we will feature the men standing in the back row. Moving from left to right, we begin with Joseph Oliver Thompson. Joe was born in Ashcroft in 1894. His family farmed at what is now known as the Sundance Guest Ranch, and some of the old timers here remember the area being referred to as the Thompson Place. Joe, along with his siblings, would have attended the school at Black Canyon. When Joe enlisted, it was noted on his medical record that he had a heart murmur. He wasn't very long in France when he began to feel the effects of it, which caused him to be short of breath. He was declared medically unfit and returned home to Ashcroft in the fall of 1917. Joe passed away in the spring of 1918 while undergoing an operation in Vancouver. He was 22 years of age. Standing beside Joe is Samuel Kirkpatrick, another Ashcroft-born man. Sam is a member of the well-known pioneer family in the area. He was a part of the Kirkpatrick Family Musical Band and was the family historian, researching and writing family stories. He also wrote letters home from the war. Here is a portion of one of them. Private S.D. Kirkpatrick writes from somewhere in France. Editor Ashcroft Journal. Dear Sir, on behalf of myself and comrades, I wish to express through the columns of your valuable paper of the achievements of the Red Cross Society in general and Ashcroft Branch particular, as each of all of these from Ashcroft have received parcels of useful articles since coming to France. I received my fourth parcel the other day and was delighted to find enclosed a copy of the Ashcroft Journal. It seems like old times reading about the matter at home and enjoy a smoke of the old standby also came in the parcel. Sam passed away in 1968 at the ripe old age of 82. He is buried in Port Alberni. Next to Sam is his cousin, Peter MacDonald. MacDonald was born in 1890 on the Spatsum Reserve. A few months later, his mother Lucy died, and Pete lived with various relatives in the area. Peter never went to school, but became articulate and self-taught. He worked at various jobs around Ashcroft. He apprenticed for three years as a blacksmith with Smith and Bryson, and then worked at the Bas Basque Ranch until 1916 when he enlisted. He fought at Passchendaele and Vimy Ridge. Peter was a longtime member of the Legion in Merritt and helped build the new building, which is the home of the number 96 branch today. Peter passed away in 1985 at the age of 95. Beside Peter is Sam Maccabee, born in Alaska in 1899. He was also from a pioneering family, the son of Marcus Maccabee and Kitty Wilson. You'll recognize the Maccabee name from the fossil beds just outside of Cache Creek, near where the family resided. Like many of these young soldiers, Maccabee was underage at the time of his enlistment. Early in the fighting, Sam suffered from shrapnel wound to the hip, which he never did fully recover from. He was declared medically unfit and invalided home. Sam was known to be a bronc buster and was always in attendance at the bucking contests and race meets. In December of 1924, at the age of 24, Sam passed away after being thrown from a horse. His burial at the Ashcroft Cemetery took place with many of the returned soldiers of the district in attendance. At the far right standing is Charles Augustus Trimble, born in Cache Creek in 1897 to parents Charles Trimble and Mary Sevlin. On his attestation papers, Charles lists himself as a rancher. According to his military record, Charles served in the 47th Battalion. Charles passed away in 1948 at Shaughnessy Hospital and is buried at Mount View Cemetery, Vancouver.